We're gonna season the porchetta. We have all the all the this beautiful pork which has been the bone and all the trim of the of the meat and part of the back of the leg they are also in here, helping the filling. Uh, we have a lot of season, but very simple. We have some uh, uh, sage, fennel seed, wild, chopped garlic, fresh thyme, fresh rosemary, sea salt, fine, fine grounded black pepper, and then we have uh, roasted onion with all the skin. Then we remove the skin and we chop very fine. First thing to do is remove all the meat that we trim. Because if we season it with, with the small pieces, the small pieces, they're gonna, they're gonna soak mostly of the salt and the pepper, and they're gonna turn a little bit salty. Then we're gonna go with salt. Usually the salt, is, you have to try to go like everywhere. Inside the leg, on the meat, it's usually about like the 2%. If you scale the pork, the bone, if you wanna weigh the salt, is about 2%, but like old school Italian do, they don't scale. So salt. And also we're gonna put a little bit of the salt also in the meat that we're gonna add at the end. Black pepper, black pepper. Uh, the important thing here, using a good quality of black pepper, it's very important. Uh, don't use like regular black pepper because it will just will ruin the flavor. And don't use a lot. A little bit of black pepper, good quality, and you're good to go. Then we're gonna go fennel seed. This is very, very Sicilian, the wild fennel seed. And then we're gonna go with the garlic. We don't need a lot of garlic, but definitely like I will add some because with the pork is this good. And now we're gonna use our end and we're gonna like lightly massage and make sure that the salt, the pepper, the garlic and the fennel, they are rubbed everywhere. Then at the end, we're gonna go with the fresh herbs. To make sure the salt and the pepper that goes everywhere. And then we're gonna go with the fresh herb. Rosemary, make sure they also go always inside the leg and inside the shoulder. Because those parts, they can be under season easily. Fresh thyme. Fresh sage, again, everywhere. And then we're gonna go with the full cooked roasted yellow onion. They give a, a good sweetness and a good base of the flavor on the cooking. And then what we do, just with the spoon, just spread. So after you after you put all this all these fresh herbs, you don't really wanna mix and like and rub like before because you're just gonna uh, the way that you spread the herb with the hand, it just it's very even. And you don't wanna touch anymore. Make sure that the leg inside they get a little bit of. Onion, make sure that the onion they're fully cooked too. We ended up using whole the onion. Then at the end, what we do, we're gonna make sure that the meat that we remove, it's sitting in the right place in the animal. Especially in the most lean in place. So make sure that you find a big needle Important thing is a cork. Cork will save your hand. Because when you push through the skin, the cork will really, really help you to, to do this work, to push through. Uh, depend on the animal. Uh, if the animal is big, it's very, very, very hard to sew it. So then you will really need like a sharp knife to poke the hole before. Before close, make sure that, to touch it and make sure that the meat that you lay down in the middle, it's basically, it's even. So. Try to touch this, it's perfect, it's even. I will leave like a couple of inch every hole. You don't need to be like to, you don't need to be too close because when you start to cooking all the protein, they will naturally like seal on the hole. So sewing it, it's pretty, pretty easy. But again, like here, you really need like a needle. I've been doing with actual needle and it's been turning like a horrible work that is taking basically like hours. It's cost you a few bucks, save your life. 
I had this kind of fist many times. The important thing here is just like make sure that you hit the whole thing. Because having a big animal like this, have a fist that don't respect the animal, it's the most terrible thing you can do. So just like be connected, the harvest of the animal and make sure that you hit the whole thing. So it's nice and tight. Take it out from here. Uh, even if it looks like it's kind of loose or like they are like very the sewing, the sewing is not to close each other, it's actually like uh, with the time I'll be fine better this way uh, because it will be easy to remove before you cut it while if it's too close it's very hard to remove and often like some uh, some of the twine it's found like on the on the portion and it's not very cool. I'm gonna do like a nice knot, an easy knot, one and two. Now that the pork is nice and filled, we're gonna shape it. Look like it's loose, but hold the skin when it's gonna be cooked. It's gonna get tight and it's gonna get the nice classic shape of the porchetta. Uh, something very important, make sure that it's loose right now before cook it, because if it's not, if now has the classic shape of the porchetta, when it's gonna cook, the skin is gonna shrink, and it's gonna crack and open the whole pig, so you will find basically like an open roast. Something that we're gonna do first, we're gonna tie these two legs, make an easy work later. Go around and we're gonna like tie the first knot here. I like to do this kind of knot that basically like scroll. And, uh, and then you cut it out. I'm gonna go under the arm. One, two, inside. And this, this is the knot. Turn around, on both, one, to turn. And then you go inside here. Poop. Probably we have to get a few stitches in here. I prefer let it sit at least 24 hours. Between 24 and 36 hours is the best because actually you bind all the flavor, uh, the salt go through the meat and kind of allow the meat to get basically the nice juicy texture. It's kind of brining. We're talking about like a drying brine pretty much in here. So seasoning it before and then cook at least 24. You can go up to 36, 48 hours, but 36 is usually like the best. Good, so. So now pig is ready to roast. We can cook the pig in a wood fire oven, which will be the best. The temperature of the cooking, it can be between 300 and 350. I do recommend to do not cross the 350 Fahrenheit. Uh, this one was about 60, 65 pound and it will take about four hours. At the temperature of 325, 330, brush with oil every 30 minutes to get a nice crisp, crispy and crunchy skin that you can have at the end of the meal. Buon appetito, enjoy the porchetta and have a good celebration with friends.